I'm going to demonstrate how to make a surface area measurement using the acorn area. Today we'll be using 30 weight percent dispersion of alumina nanoparticles, but before we do that, we need to find the resonant frequency. To do this, we use a verification standard provided with the instrument. Since the instrument should have already adjusted to the temperature of the room it's in, your next step will be to find the resonant frequency, which will take about two minutes. With the standard inserted in the instrument, we find resonant frequency by clicking Setup, then Find Resonance. If at any time you need to stop the instrument before the test is completed, you can just click the Stop button. At the conclusion of this test, the instrument will already change the settings automatically in the software. To perform a surface area measurement on your sample, you should first configure the software. You have two options, area by T1 or area by T2. Measurements by T1 take more time, but are slightly more precise. However, if the particles in your sample settle over time, T2 may be a better option. To make a measurement by T2, select area by T2 and enter the volume ratio of particles to liquid. If you don't know the volume ratio, you can press F4 and enter the particle and liquid density and the weight fraction, and the software will calculate it for you. Next, enter the sample name, username, and file name for the results, and you are ready to load the sample into the NMR tube. Make sure your dispersion is fully mixed, and load your sample into your NMR tube. Do your best to keep air bubbles out of the NMR tube. Now now you're ready to insert your sample into the instrument. To make a measurement of your sample, simply press Start. The default test parameters are usually adequate for most samples. The data files are in XML spreadsheet format and can be opened directly in spreadsheet applications like Excel and OpenOffice Calc without modification. The test results can also be saved in an RTF file, which can be opened in Microsoft Word. Graphical test results can be copied to the clipboard or saved as a JPEG for other uses. At the conclusion of the measurement, the data can be repeated or the sample can be discarded. Each measurement varies between 3 and 10 minutes depending on your sample. A typical test time for most aqueous samples is 3 minutes for T2 and 10 minutes for T1. During the measurement, the progress bar updates so that you can see the experiment time graphically as well as digitally. If your sample has settled, inverting the tube and some gentle agitation will return the sample to its fully mixed state. It takes about 15 minutes from start to finish to make a measurement. This concludes our demonstration of the acorn area. Thank you for taking the time to check out our new approach to surface area measurements. We look forward to discussing how the acorn area might help you in your work.